It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. This episode of the E-Commerce Minute is brought to you by SendPro Online from Pinny Bowes. SendPro Online is software that makes it easy to save time and money, no matter what you ship or mail. Print shipping labels and stamps right from your desk and access discounted rates. E-Commerce Minute listeners can try it for free for 30 days and get a free 10-pound scale when you visit pb.com slash minute. That's pb.com slash minute. It's E-Commerce Minute episode 1000. No, April Fool's. It's (laughs) it's E-Commerce Minute episode 437. In today's episode, Instagram launches an in-app checkout, and it's not April Fool's. And it's not April Fool's. This is real. This is a real story. Real talk. Retailers are always looking for new ways to create engaging Instagram moments that will hopefully translate into website clicks and sales. Now, Instagram has removed one more barrier to sales. Instagram has slowly been adding various e-commerce features over the past couple of years. They began integrating third-party e-commerce platforms back in 2017, added shopping to the popular stories format, and is reportedly working on a standalone IG shopping app. In a blog post earlier this week, Instagram announced Checkout, a new feature that allows users to buy items they find in the feeds without having to click out of the app. Checkout offers a secure shopping environment and doesn't require members to log in because it stores members' payment information. Here's how it works. After clicking on a product tag from a brand partnering with Instagram, you'll see the option to check out on Instagram, and you'll be able to select a color or size if applicable. Then you'll enter an email address, delivery info, and input credit card details. Customers can use American Express, Discover, MasterCard, and Visa to make purchases. Instagram plans to add a PayPal option as it expands the service. Instagram will save this info for your future orders, and if you want, you can add a PIN to purchases to make your Instagram account more secure. Instagram tested a closed beta for almost a year and attracted an impressive list of brands and retailers, including Adidas, Burberry, H&M, Michael Kors, Nike, Oscar de la Renta, Prada, Revolve, Warby Parker, and Zara. Companies selling through checkout will pay Instagram a fee for every purchase made through the site. In essence, Instagram identified a friction point to becoming a full-fledged marketplace and effectively removed it. Since customers won't need to leave the app and wait for a retailer's page to load, there will be nothing to stop the casual Instagram browsers and online brand fans from making purchases that can make a big difference to retailers' bottom lines. This will be big. However, the big unanswered question is how checkout handles those sticky supply chain problems like online returns. Slowly but surely, Instagram is becoming a legitimate e-commerce platform. Shop on. Yeah, that was coming for a very long time. About time. <laughs> about time. <laughs> also, right in my notes. About time. <laughs> wait, I have a problem with this. What's that? <laughs> Let's put shopping things with stuff in there. Let's do that. There's still no way to link in a post. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Seriously. <laughs> let's put all the toys around but let's no restrict the most basic things but Maze let's basic let thing, buy right? colon cleanser right kind off the page. of <laughs> well kind of if you look at this and they you know you can do the tags in the shop in the in the in the on the picture like if you think about it this actually does make sense that why they don't have a link on in the in the post itself right because they want people to use the tools. So if, if you have a picture with um, with brands that you want to purchase from your shop, you can link them, right? Same thing for this. You can actually check out. So it kind of makes sense why they don't have a basic link in the post itself. I got you. I understand. I don't like it. <laughs> it's very Well, I don't like it. No, it's a pain in the <laughs> But it's hard to put a post together sometimes because you're like link in bio, <laughs> you know, if you don't have link in bio, then it's like, go see my bio link in bio. Look, go see. Yeah. If you're not using like a link tree or something like that, uh, it's quite, it's quite hard. Yeah. You have, to, you have to be creative. And the problem is that every time one of these third parties, I know we're going to get away from the shopping part, but every time one of these third parties comes around and says, we've made it easy to do links in Instagram. And then Instagram changes their terms of service or changes the API and the app goes away and you're, you're left holding the broken links. I, was, so, I thought you were going to say something. <laughs> <laughs> so Instagram says 130 million Instagrammers tap these product tags every month, a key signal that expresses interest in making a purchase. Well, that's the, I, I just think it's perfect for shopping. It always, I mean, it's obviously the most visual platform out there. Why not? It's been a long time coming. I'm kind of happy about this. So Facebook was really kind of laying all their chips on e-commerce Some analysts expect Instagram to drive the majority of Facebook's ad revenue growth by 2020. And now think about that. 
Think about that. Instagram is going to make more money via ads than Facebook mm-hmm. would. It's yeah, because- I mean, it's still such a visual platform, right? And it's, if you still think about it, it's it's less cluttered no matter what. How you even if it, it is filled with ads. Think about it that e- way. Even <laughs> if it's filled with ads, it's still less cluttered, yeah, right? Yeah. Meanwhile, you go on Facebook, you're like, Ugh, it's just like you get fatigued just looking at it. The only problems we see so far, you can't do – you can only purchase one item at a time. You can't do multi-item carts. You can't do desktop yet. I'm sure that'll that'll roll out later. So currently it's only mobile. You can only buy one thing at a time. So it's going to be more towards a curated uh, direct consumer brands type of thing. Right. Like makeup or like tactical lights like you see all the time or those weird, those weird things that you see for sale on Instagram, like tripods and camera equipment. That's what my feed's full of. I mean, I get all kinds of weird stuff on there. Um, well, uh, I got, I got, so, so speaking of that, like I, uh, was looking for a car, so I looked at one and then they got blasted with cars. That's all I got, which is fine. It's contextual, right? Like it makes sense. And then I got after cars, I got insurance companies. <laughs> yeah. Which is even funnier. Yeah. You know, and that's, that's actually fine if it's helpful. I yeah. don't like it when it's you accidentally look up something and then that accidental search like follows you everywhere. <laughs> We'd like to take a moment to tell you about our sponsor. Are you paying too much to send out packages and letters? Would it be nice to have a solution that can give you the lowest rates? With Semper Online from Pitney Bowes, it's easy to save time and money no matter what you send, from packages to overnights to letters. Easily compare USPS, UPS, and FedEx rates all in one online tool. Also, gain access to special USPS savings for letters and priority mail shipping. Print shipping labels and stamps from your own printer. Own printer, down. Just your own printer. <laughs> Track all shipments and get email notifications when they arrived. Semper Online is only $14.99 a month. And for being an e-commerce minute listener, you can get a free 30-day trial to get started, plus a free 10-pound scale to help you accurately weigh your packages. Visit pb.com slash minute to access the special offer that's pb.com slash minute experience the better way to ship with free trial of Sempro online excellent sir i have a closing thought this time Uh-oh. how will this affect the influencers so you pay an influencer whatever you pay them fifteen dollars fifteen thousand dollars whatever it is do you think now this is going to create some sort no. of no because because this is for brands, right? And brands, there's just a pure shopping thing. For influencers, they have the way to tag their clothes to put in there. So a tagging thing goes to a shopping cart outside of it. No, this is purchased inside. So it's going to be really, really based on the brand. But also, if you think about it, like something like Kylie Jenner, who has the lipstick stuff and, and all the makeup, mm-hmm. she's an influencer, right? She can just put her shop right into the influence. So it actually might be a beneficial thing for them. Good point. All right. That's it. Got anything else, Bart? That is it, my friend. All right. It's your commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe, or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion, or just want to say hi, Find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.